Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Smash Anthology. On this episode, we will be covering Junior Pac-Man, which came out for arcades in Japan January 1st, 1983. And this is the opening cutscene as you can see. I'm letting it play out because the only appearance of Pac-Man is actually in the opening cutscene. And coming up you will have this ghost here. His name is Tim rather than the usual Clyde, which is one of the changes that underwent certain uh, spin-off games within the early days of Pac-Man. And there you can see, there is our appearance of Pac-Man. So I guess you could say my job is done for this game, but nah, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just going to actually play through this game. So this game is one of the seven games made by Mount Valley Midway. Which, for those who don't know, that was essentially the North American distributor of the Pac-Man games. And they had this partnership with Bandai Namco in which they would, you know, distribute the Pac-Man games for North America. But then, Midway kind of abused this relationship because they released a whole bunch of games without the authorization of Namco. And about after one and a half years of this, Namco eventually... Why not do that? Oh well. Okay, something stupid about this this specific ROM of the game. It's only two player. So, you'll notice here that I'm now the second player. I'm not actually going to be playing two games at the same time, so for the second player, I'm just going to die immediately every time. Or at least try to. So this was one of the seven games made by Valley Midway. It started off with Miss Pac-Man, which is actually kind of weird to think about the fact that Miss Pac-Man was created without the authorization of Namco. And then, uh, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, wow, I'm kind of forgetting, it's kind of hard to remember and play at the same time. Uh, actually, okay, so it was Miss Pac-Man, then there was Mr. and Miss Pac-Man Wedding Pinball. Why did I do that? Okay. Which was just a, a pinball machine. And not actually like a video game. And then you had Super Pac-Man. Then you had Pac-Man Plus, which was a... A kind of a remake of the original game. Oh wow, well, yeah, sorry, I'm blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, I had to focus there. Can't really talk right now. Okay, so... After Pac-Man Plus, then came... Dang it. Wow, it's so hard to focus right now. My mind is just all over the place. After Super Pac-Man came Baby Pac-Man. And then this game. And then they also released a game after this called Professor Pac. And actually, the next game... Um... The next game that Namco released... With, like, with their actual authorization for the Pac-Man series was a game called Pack and pal which came out just a little bit before Professor Pack did. So it was about one and a half years after Nam or Bally Midway started doing their whole Pac-Man stunt thing with their seven games before Namco finally decided to step in. And then... I don't know what I was trying to say there. I'm, my mind is just all over the place right now. Oh, cool. Great, Tim. Thank you for cutting me off there. But essentially, one problem with Midway is that they kept on making way too many changes. Like, for instance, Clyde in this game is yellow and named Tim, or Clyde was changed to a girl in Miss Pac-Man and had the name Sue. Or, like in, um... Baby Pac-Man, there was a green and a purple ghost. I forget which uh, ghosts were changed. You know, I kind of forgot that this is a new game. I was thinking that this was player two, and I was almost about to immediately kill myself. So, like, glad I remembered. talking about. It's so hard to talk and play at the same time. Man. Okay, come 
on, come on. Oh jeez, what am I doing? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> yeah, I knew Inky was about to get me there. But anyway, Valley Midway was making way too many changes, and they were just creating way too many games without the permission, or the authorization, I should say, of Namco, and so eventually that whole partnership that they had was uh, dismissed in 1983, the later half of 1983. Obviously, this one was in January. As for this game itself, it, as you can see, it kind of scrolls, and it doesn't have the entirety of the maze on the screen at the same time. And the um, level symbol, whatever it would be called, it gets away from the whole food theme that's been in prior games, and it's more kind of kid stuff. As you can see, level one is a tricycle, and the level basis thing, I seriously don't know what to call it, but for this level, the tricycle, it moves around stage and it will actually turn the pellets into these kind of larger pellets, and instead of 10 points each, worth noting, if they hit one of the corner one of the corner, um, oh, come on, Blinky. One of the corner power pellets, those power pellets will explode. And actually, it will sit there on the power pellet and wait for you to be inside of it before it will explode. Just so you can, like, see, see it happen, I guess. Which is weird because the two middle pellets, as you can see there, they actually are not affected by the level icon thing. Also, for the past games, I hadn't really um, gotten all of the cutscenes. I'm going to at least try for this game. I'm doing pretty horribly so far. I can't even get past stage one. But I'm at least going to try to get the cutscenes, and if I don't, I'll at least put them in the video because I see them as important enough to do so. With Batman, it honestly didn't really matter. I was just like, eh, they're not that important. So I didn't even put them in the video for Miss Pac-Man, I saw them as important enough, so I at least put them in the video for Super Pac-Man. I was, didn't see them as being too important, but I at least had a link in the description if anyone actually wanted to see the cutscenes, which I probably should have done for Pac-Man, but oh well. Anyone? Anyone? Tim, thank you. Thanks, Tim. So this will be quite the journey and a half, because I suck at this game, even though this is like my fifth time trying to record this episode, because stuff kept on going wrong, and I missed the episode where I was able to complete the first level in one go without losing a life. That was good times. Okay, see this... Um, oh, whoa. Wild. I died. I was gonna say that the bike was trying to go for the power pellet, but it actually wasn't going for the power pellet. It was taking quite a different route than I had expected. I still haven't even gotten past the first level. Why did I I turn I misturned? Great. Let's just go all the way over here then. Oh, there's not even a freaking power pellet. Cool. Why did you have to turn there instead of the other place? Dang gum it. My reaction times suck. Oh hey, looky there. That's already game over. Woo. Yeah. 
On to the next game. Come on, kill me. Thank you, Blinky. Yeah, this is, this is going great so far. Absolutely freaking fantastic. Oh. Well, I kind of like the changes that some of this game makes. I don't necessarily know if I prefer them over the original formula for Pac-Man. I think it's nice that it changed it up, but... Eh. This game is uh, quite difficult, though. As you can see over there, the bike or the tricycle did actually not explode the power pellets as I said earlier. But I uh, kind of don't like the fact that it's heading over in the direction of explodable power pellets. Anyone gonna come near me? Come on, come on, we can get two right here. It's good enough for me. Ah, oh, darn you, Blinky. Darn you, Pinky. Well, time to die. I like it whenever I can die and it positions the little uh, kid's hat over the uh, ghost so it looks like they're wearing the hat. Alrighty then, this is gonna be fo so blah 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 fo show. Yeah. Words. Oh, come on, screw you. Well, I only have one more life to get through the first level. Oh, come on, come hither. Come hither. Why well, am I actually faster than you for once? Like, I was actually gaining up on Blinky just then. <laughs> It's usually the other way around. They usually chase me down quite harshly. And honestly, I really don't care if this is like this episode. Like uh lag a little much. Because again, this is like the fifth time I'm trying to record this, so screw it. Oh cool, that ran out at just the wrong time. Maybe I was getting, being a bit too greedy there. Oh well. Anyone? Free pack right here. Free pack snack. Thank you. Also, I'm... No, wait, this is, that's not this game. That was Super Pac-Man. I was about to be like, no, it is this game as well. So I'd be like, every time you press the, uh... Press up a certain button. I actually don't know what it's supposed to be on like the arcade games. I just know that it's space bar for my laptop right now. It will make that little sound. Make this sound. Get two goes real quick. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Well, at least I positioned the hat on his head. Always gotta look at the positive. Anyone? Thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised Blinky went upwards there. Why am I doing so horrible at this game? Well, that was fortunate that Tim didn't go down toward us. And why is... Why am... Why when I get around the power pellet, everyone suddenly isn't on me anymore? Is that good AI or bad AI? Oh, come on, Tim. And that thing exploded, isn't it? Yep. I was trying to get over there before it got it, but it already got it. Well, at 
least I can get more points off of this. Although I'm not really going for points, I'm going for completion. Show off all of the cutscenes and whatnot. Ah, uh, darn you, Pinky. I should have reacted to that quick enough. Like, uh, immediately turned right before, um, Blinky caught up. Down to our last life. Oh, we're dead. You know, I've never sucked this bad at this game. I have no idea what's up with me today. Like, I've gotten to at least level 4 before. I can't even get past level 1 right now. This is unbearable for me. I can only imagine someone watching this. Okay, cool, just freeze up for a little bit there. That's just absolutely fantastic. Okay. I uh, I apparently quick press left when I was trying to go up. You know what? I think I accidentally pressed up too quickly and it didn't register in time. And so I was trying to then go left and then it registered the left. Something like that. Essentially I'm trying to say that I suck. Respect, I definitely should have turned down there. Why didn't I turn down there? This is going so bad. I probably could have taken a better path than what I just did. But, uh, what am I doing? I'm dying, that's what I'm doing! as if the intervals in which the ghosts are released are, are random. I could be wrong. What am I doing? doing? Why am I so bad at this? Ah, oh, we're probably dead. Hey, we made it. And now, we eat some ghosts. We feast. I feel like I always go to the right first. Oh, this is gonna explode, isn't it? Oh, oh okay. Yep. Sure, whatever. That's exactly what I needed. Cool. Oh, hey, I didn't get that one.
that gum at Pinky. I knew that, that was a bad idea as soon as I started to go toward it, but I still went forward. Even against my own discretion. How fun. What am I doing? I'm throwing. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Oh hey. I'm not throwing yet. I'm almost dead though. Yeah, I'm prioritizing getting the pellets at this point because I'm almost done with the stage. And, uh... Kinda be difficult to come back over here and get these. If I didn't do that. Okay, do I just have those two left? Because if so, sweet. So I finally get to the first cutscene! I'm gonna be pissed if that was just, like, it freezing up and it was like, Nope, you still got stuff to do. You're just dead. So, I'm assuming from this cutscene that Yum Yum is Blinky's daughter. And something that I find actually really cool is that the garden of the back house are pellets, power pellets. I think that's actually kind of pretty funny. Also worth noting about that cutscene is that the ghosts in that cutscene were blue with red eyes. When they usually never have blue with red eyes. It's usually they have their blue with white eyes, and then whenever they start blinking, they white with red eyes. So I don't know if that was just done for the sake of the cutscene, or they just kind of screwed up or something, I don't know. Why did I do that? Oh yeah, the second stage is a kite. And see, we are now back to level 1. Because of player 2. Jukid. Oh, that I uh, just like use the word Jukid instead of the actual word Jute. Oh, hello. I love it when a plan comes together. Why do I do that? Why am I? Why am I being greedy? Just get the pellets. Tim. And that one of Papa's exploded. Maybe I can get one? Nope, not getting one. Cool. And now we only have one power pellet left. I shall use it wisely. By wisely, I mean like right now. Yeah, now we're just screwed. Oh, screw you, Inky. I was really hoping he would turn. He didn't turn. He didn't turn. I'm suddenly doing pretty well. <laughs> I was struggling so hard to get past stage one, then all of a sudden, here I am. Once again. Oh, dang it. Damn. Why you gotta do that? I 
think I should be able to get to stage 2, but it's not like it really matters because I'm just gonna instantly die again. As much as I was going to try to get through all of these uh, cutscenes, it's not looking very likely at this rate. We'll see though. Yeah. Oh, no, we're dead. <laughs> wow, I couldn't even get past stage one there. Good job, me. Yeah, woo. Go team. Go team pack. Or should I be saying go team ghosts? That's apparently what I'm going for. Woo. I'm actually playing so horribly right now, though. Because I've definitely gotten to stage 4 before while playing this game. Okay. Probably gonna die here, okay? No, we made it down there. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Watch me go now. Wow, there's still so much to go. That could have been really bad if he got ahead of us and ran the pellet. But oh well. We made it out of there. That's all that matters. Interesting that the tricycle still goes over here, even though that there's no power pillar left. Even though that one over there is probably oh dun 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 dun, dun just like me. And that was a pretty solid first life. Oh, you know what? That's something that I need to think about it. Think about the um the one in the top corner is probably not going to explode now because the tricycle like we never saw the animation on it. Unless I've already gotten that pellet and just don't remember. No, okay, it's still there. So yeah. So it only explodes if you actually see it happen. Unless it just never actually exploded and... No, we're dead. No, we're not. Ah, thank you. stage though, because we get to watch the cutscene again. Got to love this cutscene with four of the audio rips, but I mean, hey, what can you do? Still don't understand why it's blue with red there. But oh well, on to the kite stage. Uh, and as you can see, the level layout changed quite a bit, actually. What sucks about this game is, like, the ghosts instantly start turning back to, um, the regular forms. Like, instantly. So you can't really use the power pellet too well unless you plan for it, which I don't really do. Except right now. I didn't really plan for it all that well, honestly. I lied. I suck. But I feel like that's obvi obvious by this point. That's a close one. Why do I feel like something is about to explode? Here, oh, yep, there we go. It's gone. Just like that, which means I'm gonna have to go over here and get all this stuff so I don't feel as bad about it. Okay, I miss input again. Cool. 
so fun. Yes, I love misinputting. That's my favorite thing in the world because I, so, I do it just so much. Like, why else would I do it so much? Oh, hey, I got the, I got the hat on. Blinky. So, did I even get everything over here? I did not. Might as well go in and get it. Just because I can. I swear, I always clear out the right side first. Ah, crap. That's not good. Okay, we got away. Like, you can barely make use of that power bullet. It's actually kind of absurd. I'm sure it gets that way in like, later levels in Pac-Man games, but for it to get there on the second level is quite absurd, if I do say so myself, because I am already dead. I just committed die. And it's so hot in my room that I can feel sweat dripping down my arm. Back to this first level. Honestly, I think this might be my last go at this. I've been going at it for quite some time. We're not exactly progressing. I'm definitely going to put the cutscenes in the video, though. If I... Unless I just, like, miraculously get all the cutscenes on this one go, which is highly unlikely. I'll probably go over to where the bike is, so I don't lose that one power billet. Tim? Tim, I thought we were friends. I swear, Tim is like the most friendliest ghost to us. He's, same with like Clyde. It, it's like... It kind of hurts whenever he betrays you, man. Because you don't expect him to be the one to kill you. What the heck, there's still stuff over here. Okay, then. That didn't go as, as I thought. What am I doing? Oh, we're dead. Hmm. Honestly, there was... At that point, there was nothing that I could have done. If I had, had turned upward, Inky would have still got me when he turned that way. Or maybe he would have turned a, a different way because of the fact that I turned upward. I, don't, I, don't, I feel as if, like, no matter what, he still could have cut me off in some way. So this sucks. On my last attempt, I can't even get past the first level. Unless I make good use of this life. Okay, I did not expect him to turn away from me there. Probably dead here. Oh, we I could have played that better, but you know what? Miss input. Screw me. Woo. Yeah. Game over. Dang gun, that's infuriating. Well, anyway. Next up is the cutscenes. See you guys next time on Smash Anthology. Junior Pac-Man.